Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to the map editor and welcome back to this island that we are making last time when we were working on a beach, making the beach a little bit better than it was before because before it was kind of, well, it was kind of flat and boring. We've added shipwrecks, we've added aeroplanes, we have a forest, we have a river, we have jumping puzzles, we have stuff, uh, little view lines, we have fallen trees we have uh shallow water deep water we have uh ice cream we have dead bodies um we have i i guess we have stone age ruins we have little um little paths running up the cliffside we have tiny little cave uh lagoons we got lagoons we got rock arches we got high points we got low points we got a shark on the beach um Oh yeah, that's what we were doing last time. So we've done a lot to this island. It's getting a little tricky to navigate though, because with this many objects on the island, and the fact the camera has a little bit of a problem, um, well, uh, yeah, I think we, we are very close to wrapping this up. And I say very close. In real time, very close. In episodes, meh, I, I, I don't know. So if you're joining us for the first time, yep, this is a map editor. We've, we've done a lot of work on this uh, particular island. Um, but let's go through the controls. First of all, we're using W to go forward, S to go back, A to go left, D to go right, Q to go down, E to go up. Uh, we are clicking and holding the right mouse button to pan the camera around, because that's how you navigate in a 3D space. If you didn't know. Uh, can we click on... And now, that's the stick, it's not the shark. Uh, we've got the shark now. So, um, we are using R to rotate, T to transform, C to clone, delete to delete. But we have to click yes, because you can't hit the keyboard to do that. I was like, oh, we've broken the shark. No, he's got his little gun there. Oh, okay, cool. Um, and if we select shark again, or stick or whatever, uh, F is focus. That is the stick. Why do we why do we keep selecting oh we're in we're in the shark? That's part of the camera problem. Yeah, not shark sticky legs. And we can't leave him there. We we just can't leave him there. It would be beautiful if we could just leave the shark. Um there's like a walkie boy on the island with this little I mean I'd like to replace that with a parasol, something less threatening. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I doubt we're gonna get a parasol on game anytime soon. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh oh yeah and the item problem so the camera doesn't have constant velocity and you will find this out if you are in the map editor and you are moving a lot of things together the more objects you get uh, the more it looks like you got lag it's a little bit strange um so the camera slows down when it gets close to an object like here yeah <laughs> kind of here it's it's slowing down and speeding up so the more objects you have the slower i mean i'm just holding w uh the slower it gets uh, for each object and then as far as soon as you're away from the objects boom the camera speeds up sometimes it means you're trying to position something and suddenly the camera is embedded in the skybox sometimes it means the camera just it doesn't want to move at all uh, no constant velocity means the more items you have in the island it's just harder to navigate you know um, so things we need to do to finish this this place off. Well, uh, we have the forest which runs through it. I didn't want to put too much stuff in the forest because maybe someone wants to build a house there. I don't know. But we do have uh, a few bits and pieces kicking around. We have this, um, this, little, this little curiosity. I'm going to call it a, a Stone Age um, curio. Maybe maybe it's half a roundhouse. Maybe it's just a fire pit. Maybe maybe it's a conversation pit from the 70s. Who freaking knows? Who knows? Uh, we obviously have our racks. We have the big ones on the surface and a few underneath. Just a just a little little thing that says, well oh, maybe maybe this boat rammed another boat and that's why they're all here. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Um, we could probably add a couple more wrecks out in deep water, but I don't want to add too much stuff to the island in terms of treasure because that kind of defeats the object. Um, it's always more rewarding if you have to, um, if, if you have to earn the in-game rewards. If you have to, if you have to hop and skip and jump from between islands. If you just turn up on an island and it has all the end-game loot, then well, you, you're not really playing the game then. Um, so things that we need to finish. Well, we need to finish this rock here. It seems a little bit weird that we would spend time on it, but compared to everything else now, uh, now that we've added shrubs and plants to everything, um, yeah, it's kind of looking a little bit empty, a little bit weird. Uh, this beach as well kind of feels a little bit odd, just where Shark actually is, kind of feels a little bit empty compared to the rest of the island. Um, 
yeah, we've we've spent a lot of time just making things a little bit pretty. What we could do is just literally this uh, over there, and that would help enormously. I mean, we've done sort of done it here, but just a just a little peninsula with something on it that'd be that'd be good. Um, then we need to add resources to the island. And then we need to add animals, and then we need to test it. I mean, we're kind of that close. We're just polishing polishing what we've got at the moment. Um, making it the best it can be. So let's work on this. Let's do it. Let's just stop talking and, and go to the objects toolbox. Let's open up trees. And we'll find a bush. And we'll say, hello bush. Uh, would you like to become part of my island? And bush is like, I wasn't going to say anything because it's a bush. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's not. Um, why don't we get rid of these two? So I'm going to hit the, hit the, the bin. So we also have icons where it says terrain, objects, and camera. We have, uh, let's go like that. Uh, we've got rotate and transform in the top two. We've got uh, focus because that's a big old cliff. We've now been pulled way out. Uh, we have clone and we have delete. Delete looks like a cube going into a bin with a lid on it. I don't know why they, I don't know why they chose that. Um, that will be unity uh, doing that. So we got the bush. Uh, we can just kind of push it in the base and that will be fine. Or we can try and jam it in sort of further up oh, like that. Hello, I am bush. Um, is it going to have much of an effect? Well, probably not because of the shape of this particular piece of cliff. What I don't want is it to be sticking out kind of like this. So we we'll have to play around with it. Um, I'm going to grab the green toggle, pull it out, hit R to rotate, and then move it around. See if we can kind of manipulate it in such a way that it eventually uh, either fits or doesn't. And if it doesn't fit, then we need to go back to the drawing board and say, hmm, why did I bring a drawing board to a desert island? And the answer is going to be, who knows? Who, who knows? I mean, why would? Oh, no, I suppose a drawing board will be better than a Wacom or a Cintiq. Hmm, what's a Wacom? It's a graphics tablet that you connect to your computer so you can use a pen. It's uh, industry standard. Oh, okay, cool. And now you know. Um, yeah, yeah, we use Wacoms at work and I use Wacoms at home. Um, because why would you not? So we've got this, uh, got this shrubby shrub kind of stuck in the cliff a little bit. Uh, there's a few sprites kind of sticking out here. Um, we could do a little bit better by grabbing the blue toggle um, by after tapping R, grabbing the blue toggle after tapping T. So we're rotating and transforming and just kind of pushing it in and pulling it out in such a way that that doesn't happen. It's a little thing. It's a tiny little thing. I'm going to hit R again and just rotate because the point of rotation is actually on. Well, it, yeah, it's here uh, it is wherever, wherever the symbol appears. And on cliffs some and trees, sometimes that's actually at the bottom of the tree in the cliff. Uh, that's fine, that's fine. What we can do is throw a plant in at the top like this. Hello, I am a plant. You are a plant. Congratulations. Plants, are they intelligent? Um, don't know. Don't know. Do they communicate with each other? Hmm, yeah, they do actually. Uh, try sticking a nana in a bowl of fruit. And seeing what happens to your bowl of fruit. Yeah, spoilers. Um, yeah, everything will get very, very ripe. Overripe, in fact. Here's a little thing. So here's the thing. Um, we've got these leaves, and they are in those sprites. Is that a problem? I'm. Hmm, we've been very careful not to get these leaves clipped into rocks and branches and stuff. I'm not entirely sure if it matters with the bush sprite. I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Uh, we'll, we'll correct it a little bit, I guess, until we can't select it. So uh, every now and again, what will happen is that when we let go of an object, because we got so many objects stacked together, the selection will just snap randomly to a different object. Uh, save often, because that can be a pain in the butt, especially if you go to grab something and then you see something way in the background move and you're like, oh, was that important? Um, and the answer is, who knows? I mean, maybe? Uh, grab another bush. Another... Oh, what? Why would you do that? Because uh, we're going to fill the gap in the bottom of the cliff by pushing this back. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. 
and then hit R to rotate and then pull it up and put it back and do all this sort of weird rotating stuff. Yeah, that's fine. And that's fine. Terrain objects, so we don't have any selected. Just hitting terrain and then objects just deselects everything, which is great. Absolutely freaking brilliant. Nana plant. Hello. Are you, you're a nana plant. Yeah, you are. Um, let's move that a little bit. Just rotate it on um, its, uh, its little axes there. There we go. Look at that. It's a nana plant. So we've got some scrubby, scrubby shrub at the bottom. Um, we were on the nana plant. We let go of the nano plant and now it's selected the cliff column which is if you want some nightmare fuel boom it's under the world that's the entire cliff column we only wanted the top of it though so uh terrain objects because i don't want to move that that's now part of everything that's part of the structure that's part of the fabric of reality our reality that we made it's not very good reality um it features sharks which is a bit of a problem and now a rock what why did you just grab a rock out of the toolbox? Well, you were talking about sharks and reality. That's an excellent question. Uh, one which we're going to answer very, very shortly by pulling it up a little bit and then moving it in. There we go. The uh, train objects. Okay, so why did you just put a rock there? Ah, excellent question. Because there's no boundary between the sea, the sand, and the bush. And I, I want something that could plausibly break up uh, wave action between the the freaking deciduous plant and the, the 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 salty salty ocean salty ocean. Have you ever drunken drunken? That's not even English. Drank drinking drunk consumed? Nope. Imbibed. Yeah, probably. Um, have you ever been in the sea with your mouth open? The sea is so salty! It's incredibly salty. Like, if you haven't been in the sea for a while, and you're like, Oh, I'm going to go and jump in the sea! Cause I'm, oh, city folk. They're, they're my favourite type of people. They they jump in the sea on a hot summer's day, and they're like, Oh, city folk, I'm going to jump in the sea! It's like, oh, you do that. Um, and then it's incredibly salty. It's like, oh, why is it so salty? Well, because it it just is. Uh, so putting these trees back in, making sure to pull it down into the ground a little bit, hit a rut to rotate and spin it. Like why, why do you call them city folk? Because they're folk from the city. And it's also from City Slickers, uh, which is a really good film. So, yeah. Uh, rut to rotate because the palm tops are all the same and also I just don't want... I just don't want the palm tops touching each other either. Uh, there we go. Yeah, City Slickers. Um, they actually get two films. So City Slickers 2, Curly's Revenge or Curly's Gold or something like that. Uh, they're like, oh, he's got a long lost twin brother. Ah, with gold. Like, oh, uh, okay. Sure. Ficus, hello. T, put down. No, this is a Ficus. Wait a second. This isn't going to work. Delete. Yes. Ficus 1, 2, and 3 are harvestable ficuses. Did I... Wait, did I just delete that? Wait a second. When I was talking, did I, did I accidentally delete something else from the world? I don't know. I don't know. I've seen the recording. Maybe I just hit the wrong button. Maybe it didn't work. Maybe... I don't know. Hmm. So the ficus trees, although they're big and heavy, uh... That actually might work quite well. Um, these guys, you can't chop them down. So they cannot be chopped down. Uh, what we need it works. Oh, it kind of works. So I'm going to move it in at the base. And I ho I'm hoping it doesn't snap away onto something else. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm just kind of looking, looking around. Because what I want to do is hit rotor rotate. And then do a little turny turn and then snuggle the branches up against the rocks there like we've done but why would you do that um well because now we've added a load of sprites in front of this rock and we've added a little bit of height to this path and 
we've added some interest. So as you're running along, you're like, oh, all of this is kind of occluded and there's the top of a tree. It's one of those things when you're walking along a path and the tree is growing below you, you see the top of the tree and it's like one of those things you don't normally see. It's just interesting from a human point of view. You're always like, oh, look, I can see down into the tree instead of looking up into the tree, which is what I normally do, unless you're city folk, in which case you don't know what a tree is. Oh, why do you keep saying city folk? I don't no, when was the last time I watched City Slickers? Uh, I don't know. I have been watching a lot of 80s films, though. So, probably something to do with that. Short Circuit. I watched Short Circuit the other day. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yep. No, but I, I don't know what else to say. It's a good film. Uh, Saruman. Is it Saruman here? Probably. There's a lot of stuff already on the side of the thing. Oh, we can just jam it in there somewhere. I suppose. On the floor, maybe? Over here would be good. That's where these rocks are. That would make an absolutely uh, splendid amount of sense. Splendid. That's a word you don't normally use. Nope. Uh, so I'll just rotate that around a little bit. Leaf is clipped into rock. No, it's not. Is it? Not noticeably. Right. Excellent. Well, in which case, I'm going to leave you there for the want of anything else. Uh, so the change is subtle, like fairly subtle, but it's there. Uh, things are now growing on the rock, uh, things are growing behind the rock, things are growing underneath it. It's kind of bare there, but we don't need to dress everything. And so I'm still worried about hitting an item limit. Um, kind of worried about that. Also, why have we got anything here? Hmm, the more I look at this island, the more things I'm like... Yeah, we need a little thing here, a little thing there, just something, a little... Mm, it's like anything parmesan to... Uh, parmesan cheese to... I'm going to have to move your old chum to an Italian meal. Not not the actual, just a random Italian. Can you go up for a bit, please? Thank you. I don't know why I'm spending time moving you and your legs. Uh, hmm. I realise that these aren't actually on the same plane either. Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, there we go. There you go. Everything's much better now. Well, it was until I jammed a stick straight through the middle of you. Um, there we go. There we go. That'll, that'll do. That'll do. I don't know why. I don't know why we just leave that guy there. We should really delete him because if we if we leave him, he'll just drop from there down to sea level and swim out from under the island mesh, and then he will just be a part of the island. That will be a thing that happens. Uh, terrain. We need to raise it. So we're going to click on the middle button, which is read terrain paint height. Um, hmm, there's a lot of water here. I'm going to click on just where the sand t uh, starts going dry. Change the set, uh, the size down. It's like set height. No, that's the name of the brush. I want the size down though. Uh, using Q and just angling the angling the camera down and holding W. You essentially just go in the direction of the camera anyway. Uh, right, so I need to move the brush out of the water and able to see the size. That's a good size. Uh, the amount slider is fairly far down. All of these, the size and amount are inherited between three brushes. If you have set height, it can only go as far as the height you've set. If you have raise and lower and you have the amount slider cranked, then you're going to end up with a spike either all the way to the sun or all the way to the center of the earth. And you'll be sad because there is no control Z, no, no undo. I don't know what undo is on an Apple Mac. Probably. It's probably in an app, to be honest, that you have to pay an extra like 350 for. Three, 350. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so we're just gonna loosely brush some stuff out here. Excellent, uh, cog. I want this. I want the ocean off. Oh yeah, forgot about. It. So when wherever you're looking, the shadow gets stuck unless uh, you display ocean. Uh, look at the sun, display ocean, and then you turn the ocean off, and the shadow layer uh, follows you. Excellent. Um, excellent, excellent, excellent. Third option, smooth height, crank, the smooth height setting, click and hold and just brush over because you want all these little triangle nodes that make up the item mesh to smooth off, or at least I do, because that makes things better for us. Is it smooth? 
It is moving. Uh, okay, turn the ocean back on. Excellent. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, ocean off. Not that smooth, though. So, third option, just brush this back. Everything's made up of little triangle edges. So you just want to make sure that there's no ridges or anything in your world. Uh, deflation back on. Um, the, the sea gets brighter and darker depending on cloud activity. Or at least it would if the cloud activity was actually mapped to the the effect. I think I have the effect switched off, but it still it still does something. I, I can't remember. I have to go in graphic settings. I ain't, I ain't doing that. We ain't got time for that. I'm moving the camera around so I can see better in a 3D space uh, what's actually going on with our nub of land. Uh, the time is also going to change the effect. So that is low tide. As you can see when we put the brush. Because the brush, you can't see the brush through the water mesh. But you can see it if you're underneath the water mesh. Because the water mesh, I believe, is a separate entity within the game. I believe it's a separate entity. I believe it's one of the things you can get from the... Like somebody else makes the water mesh. And then you, you just plug it in. It's like a plug-in. Uh, okay, cool. So that's low tide or about as close to, oh, that's absolute low tide. And then what's absolute high tide? Here, right, okay. Uh, it's kind of a fun little feature being able to do that. Uh, but we can throw some rocks and things down. So we'll do that object. Hello, uh, close that, open rocks. So we're going to grab some rocks from the toolbox. Uh, we can just do what we did at the other side. Shoreline rock two. Hello, shoreline rock two. You are useful to us. And manipulate you, move your backwards and forwards a little bit. There we go. Uh, we got some we got some rocks and things here, but hey, whatever. Uh, we're going to go back to terrain. We're going to go back to the car. We're going to change the time of day back to kind of closer to midday. Interesting, the effect of the sun's position in the sky. That's not even that far over compared to actual midday. I suppose it is. Hmm, there's a lot of night in this game. <laughs> yep. So essentially, um, when the sun is overhead, or close to directly overhead, you get a much more blue sea, because in real life what happens is the sun, uh, the, the light comes down, hits the seabed, and then bounces up the seafloor and just bounces up. Um, that is why if you want to take a picture of like boats in the harbour or something, you go at midday or are you taking a picture of the blue blue water at a beach uh, you take that at midday but you don't take a portrait at midday because well not without a reflector of course or in the shade otherwise you get harsh shadows um trees so we're gonna go back to trees this is the beach so we're gonna go back to palms palms uh let's grab palm two and just sort of jam it in the just jam it in the gap there drop it down hit rod spin it randomly and palm three, because I like putting palms in pairs at different heights. Do the same thing. T, 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 R. Uh, so we're done with our spinny boy. Okay. Feels a little bit better. Feels a bit better. Yeah. Feels kind of like the, uh, the beach is less exposed. I don't know. I just don't like having big empty areas. It just kind of feels empty. Um, and cold. With the emptiness comes the cold, visually. Uh, so we're going to go all, all the way back. Oh, I was trying to click above, hoping the hoping the slider would actually just snap up and down, but it doesn't seem to do that. Rocks, uh, train objects, just to make sure we ain't got nothing selected, because if we did, that would be terrible. Uh, Big Rock 3, hello, I like your... Mm, do I like your style? Big Rock 1? Big Rock 1's kind of more rounded, I think. Uh, so I'll just angle that a little bit, T transform, and then move it in such a way that it's just kind of poking out there. Um, that'll do, that'll do. Uh, train objects, so we don't have anything selected. We're going to go to trees, and then we're going to throw, ooh, what have we got? Oh, we got aloe vera over there, we got some young palms and things. Hmm, ceremon? I think so. Why would we not? Why were we not indeed? Rotor rotate, just rotate it around. Uh, make sure that nothing's getting clipped through the trees or the rocks or the floor. Go down with a little bit of Q, press T, drag it down further, slightly further into the ground. 
have a look. Everything's... Maybe we can go down a little bit more. There we go. It's just looking at the uh, the texture on that leaf. It's nice the way the edges are sort of browned. Hmm. Hmm. The spotting. Yeah. It's uh, they're all different colours as well. Some some time and effort went into making that plant. And of course the uh, the gaps in the leaves. That's a uh, literally just an alpha transparency. They're uh, what is that? A sprite layer with a with just an alpha brush. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Like I, I like it. I love it. Um, do we need too much more here? Probably not. Probably not. Maybe put a little young palm or something down. It's the uh, just a, a little bit of interest. Interest. Never use shoreline rock one, by the way. You'll put it out. It looks great, but you'll never be able to select it again. I mean, I like the look of it, but and we've used it before, but yeah, you can't select it once it's down. Uh, so we've got rocks, trees. Well, an acacia. Could. I mean, is it overkill? Probably. Bush. Nope. Banana. Little mm. mm. Nana. Little Nana. Nah. I think a lot of the stuff's going to be too big to just kind of jam in there. And the ficus is not going to work. Or would it? No. Would it? Would it? It it might actually work quite well there. Oh no. Oh well yeah, no, it, it does actually work quite well. So we'll hit R to rotate and spin it around. For a minute we got a shark in a tree now. Okay, that's it's fine. Um what I want to do is get my fingers on the keyboard in such a way that I'm actually manipulating the keyboard and not just spinning around. Okay. Okay, we need to get the shark out of the tree. Um, is that a shark or is that a stick? Well, that's... That's this little gun. Oh, I'm going to have to get rid of it. Sorry, shark. I'm have to get rid of your gun. That's the shark. Tree sharks are the... Well, I was going to say the worst. They're not the worst. I can think of worse things. Uh, let's delete that. And let us delete that. Okay. The six are gone, the shark's still there. Hello. Just hovering. I mean, when you look at him like that, he looks so happy. When you look at him like that, ooh, business. Mmm, business. Right, okay, so we got another little ficus. Let's get another little accident, but I, I do like the uh, the tree arch is going on, so. Um, we're going to need to just do a quick, uh, quick thing here. Maybe we can use another rock. Uh, hmm, shoreline rock, maybe? Probably. Probably. Okay. What we can do is push this back in such a way that nothing gets completely beansed by our, our um, need for rocks, I guess. Let's do this. Let's go up so that's fine. That's kind of okay. Yeah, that's okay. Everything else is okay? We haven't actually jammed a rock into a, another plant? No. Oh, well, okay. That was a bit more meaty than I thought it was going to be in that we've now added a bunch of stuff there uh, onto the island, uh, onto that little island of rocks. Um, but now we've... Hmm, there's a slight problem, and I don't know if you can see it. You should be able to see it if I move the camera around. There we go. There's a pattern. One, two, three, four, five right in the middle so uh top left top right those are the same sprites in the middle those are the same sprites same sprites okay so that is actually a problem so we're going to need to select the tree as much as we can is that the tree yep and then rotate it in such a way uh, that pattern just doesn't exist right okay i think we've done it yeah, that's, that shouldn't be so noticeable. I'm uh, going to need to make some changes down here. So move that out a little bit. That's fine. Come down and make sure this is actually still on the ground. Easiest way is to just pull it out and put it back in again. And again here, because this is now being choked by a, a tree branch. That's not a good look. So what we'll do is move that out and then move it over. 
give it some space. It can be it can still be touching the tree branch, but it just can't be surrounded by it. I think that's fine. Absolutely fine. Right, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we have gone with one idea and then accidentally just kind of made everything a little bit more just a little bit more. I, I do like that. Um what are we doing? We should probably do something here. But that's for another time. We gotta do we gotta add a bunch of resources. And I think by adding resources, we're also gonna be adding a few more uh trees and things to the island anyway. Uh because palm trees are a good source of wood. Uh, we're going to need to add some young pines to the forest as a good source of wood. They can be cleared out by a player, um, and then because they, they don't regrow, you can just put a house down where they were. They don't leave anything behind. Yeah, um, we're going to need to add food sources and animals, and I think, yeah, I think we're getting close to the end of this. I, I really do think we're getting close to the end of this. Right, good. I'm going to leave it there for the time being. So. If you are liking this series, definitely leave a little like, leave a subscribe. And if you do subscribe, click the little bell because that give you notifications when videos go live. And you know what? You know what? I'll catch you next time.